It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to the Labor Day edition of the Mike Prince Show. Of course, our mission is to try and bring you news that you could use each and every day. Our social media handles are Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network, and the 24-hour dial-in message line is 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into our special Labor Day edition of the Mike Prince Show. Well, of course, it is Labor Day. No Labor Day classic this year between Texas Southern and Prairie View. However, the games will move forward to the spring. When you put things in perspective, it makes one realize, despite not having games for entertainment, schools at reduction as far as attendance is concerned, still got a lot to be thankful for and a lot to look forward to. Last night's episode of the Mike Prince Show, Featured, of course, Dr. Donald Reed, athletic director for Prairie View, and Kadero Hodge of the Cleveland Browns. Extremely proud of Kadero and the achievement and the strides that he is making with the opportunity presented to him with the Cleveland Browns. Of course, we know it's a very small percentage of players across the board, not just in particular with HBCU and the FCS programs to get a chance to make it on the professional ranks, but he has truly taken advantage of the opportunities and we want to continue to wish him nothing but success. As if it would be for the rest of the young men and women who get the opportunity to continue to chase the dream. In the midst of the conversation of all corn being transitioned over to the West, a lot of people have automatically assumed that the East has been gift wrap, in particular for FAMU. But I would dare to think twice on how those who remain would have to be somewhat extra motivated to not only prove to FAM, but to those who are doubting their capabilities of being able to hold their own. So the East will be very, at least in my opinion, interesting to gauge especially the first couple of years coming out of the gate with this new look East. We took a poll in regards of the dominance that Alcorn had been showing, not only in the East, but to be honest with you, throughout the entire conference. And when asked, do you believe that the dominance will continue as the Braves shift over to the West, 57% of you said the dominance will now cease. There should be more balance. And I was asking about the balance issue. So I'm saying that now with all corn being in the West, it does bring about more balance. And as I began to analyze that, I somewhat scratched my head. But nonetheless, to each his own. I know for the most part, we think football. But when you look at the total body of work, If we were to go down the list, and people might look at this in an oddball way, but probably the most efficient athletic program would be Alabama State, at least according to the President's Cup. Now, the challenge about the President's Cup, from my opinion, is that it's not truly on an even playing field. And the reason I say that is because some teams have 18 sports, others have 14. And I don't think it would be something to happen in the near future. But since we're about changing and readjusting, maybe we ought to have two categories of the President Cup. Those with the maximum amount of of sports available, and then those with the minimum amount of sports available. Because if you break it down in that manner, it will always be on an even 
playing field. Because if I have 18 sports compared to one that may have 14 sports, I'm going to automatically have a greater chance of winning because of the point opportunity. Just something to think about. Also, with Alcorn coming over to the West, and this is going to be personal, maybe now we can get back to our original gold at Prairie View A&M University. For years, I've heard the excuse that the gold that we need to truly represent the color had not been available. And it always made me scratch my head. We've been in a conference with two teams in particular who have a gold that they use would be acceptable, at least from my vantage point. Of course, the Alcorn State gold. And I can hear others saying, well, you know, uh, they look so much alike and it'll be hard to differentiate who's who. Well, that's why one wear a home jersey, the other one wears a road jersey. But needless to ponder on that. But another acceptable gold would be the gold that is used by Alabama State. Why not? It would still give you the original Panther look, either shade, in my opinion. But those are things to be further kicked down the road. And we'll keep a little monitor on those things. Well, I am going to exit stage left with this news and notes edition of the Mike Prince Show here on this Labor Day 2020. Working on some more of the Dion effect that could be at Jackson State. Stay tuned for that one. And of course, don't forget, you have some news, comments, questions, or concerns you'd like to share with us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. You can always drop it on the 24-hour message line, 713-570-6736. My time is up, and I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, and that's always. You guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.